but I just don't know how to quit. So there's quite a lot of S's sounds in there. So if you've got a vocal here and you want to try and remove some of those S's, you can use your own EQ, you can find the frequency and you can try and dip the EQ there using something like LRC5 or LRC7 here in GarageBand, or you can try using this. It's a app from Clevgran called Espresso. Let's just get rid of that enhanced tuning. We don't need it. We don't need no stinking auto-tune. And we're going to add this one. So uh, we've got audio unit extensions. We'll scroll on down and it's called S. Presso. It is $7.99 US Freedom Eagle dollars and uh, you can pick it up in the App Store if you want to. Like all things Clef Grand, it's a pretty simple interface. You've basically got your detector up the top here. This is detecting your celebrant frequencies and then you've got your suppressor down the bottom and this is suppressing those celebrant frequencies. So I'll show you the concept of how it all works here and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it a crack uh, on this track. So you think it's okay to treat me like a baby and I just put up with it. Yeah, you think it's okay and I just put up with it. So we'll try this. We'll, we'll use this little chunk here between bars 9 and 12 as our little test run here. So what we can do is when we come in here, if we can play the track, we can it'll actually show us a visual representation here and we can try and locate where those S sounds are. So let's hit play. You think it's okay to treat me? Do I not have it on? Yeah, it helps if you turn it on. So here, <laughs> we're going to turn it on and then we're going to come back in here. I'm like, oh no, it's failed already. Let's take a look. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby and I just put up with it. Right, so did you hear that bit where the S came in? What we're looking for is where it's actually here. So if we play it again. You think it's okay. So did you see how up the top here? And we can move this so we can decide where we're going to find those S sounds. So I think that the S sounds are kind of up here. You think it's okay to... Yeah, there they are. Right in that zone there, yeah? So that's where we're finding those S sounds. So that's where we're going to put this in. Now, you do have a sensitivity over here, which is cruel. It's called sensitivity for those of us that lisp. So we're going to, uh, we're going to take another listen to this and just make sure it's in that spot. You think it's okay to trip. Yeah, so I think that's the spot. Now, down here in the suppressor, you've got a couple of options. You can suppress here using this, this one here. This is your band pass suppression, which means that what you generally want to do is just reduce it just before and just after that frequency, just to kind of round it off there. As you can see, it kind of just dips it down. You've also got this one here, which does the whole lot. I don't know why you'd want to do that. And then you've got this one here, which does everything above that. So this one's usually pretty good because up here is there's not much information. So you can usually suppress anything above where your S sounds are and they'll work pretty well. But I'm going to use this one, the bandpass one, just to, to test it out with this. So we'll, we've, are we comfortable with found our S sounds? Well, we've actually got another tool in here, the solo tool that may actually help us because if we hit the solo button... So we can start hearing that. I think we probably need to go even a little bit higher because you can you can only just sort of hear it because it's this is just telling you the bit that it's actually finding. Yeah, so you can you can hear that sound that's coming in there. So we'll use that to start with, and then to act, the actual bringing it down is using this one here on your suppressor. So the the more if we leave it up the top here, you can hear that coming through there. If we start bringing this down, then it's hopefully going to remove out some of that. And then if we bring it back in here with the unsolo, and we play it again. You think it's okay to treat me like... Is it doing much? A little bit. We'll bring it back into the mix because that's going to be the test here. If we play it here in our mix, uh, we'll play it once through uh, without any de and then we'll play it once through with de So uh, let's try this now. And let's add the de there to see if it's going to bring down. You think it's okay to treat me like a baby and I... Yeah, not bad. It, it has just sort of rounded off. It's not going to remove it. Remember, you can't remove the frequency. Otherwise, you won't hear anything either side of it. It'll just completely cut out that frequency, which has probably got notes and other things in there. But uh, let's just play it from the start here and see if it's done its job. You've got an ego that drives me so crazy, but I just don't know how to quit. Not bad, right? Just, yeah, some of those S sounds that were a little bit harsh to begin with, it's just kind of ground them off a little bit. 
So it's pretty cool. It's an easy way to just give yourself a little bit of a little bit of a reduction in those uh, those syllabant s's if you've uh, got a lispy kind of voice like I do. There's a whole bunch of other things in there that you can play with. There are presets that you can use, which don't really work that well because everyone's kind of different. So you can go in here. There's like male, female, high frequency, and Spanish for Swedes. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Clef Grant are weird dudes. But what we could actually do is we can actually save this in here. So if I find that this is Pete's Lisp, <laughs> then I can save myself a preset there. And then when I come in, it gives me a place to start. So every time I came, come in here and uh, I'm starting to work on a DSer, I can now use the Pete's Lisp preset because my S sounds are going to be around about the same area. 